30-06, big boy, holds five rounds. Um, beautiful gun, it's outfitted with a push and long scope, which is a pretty high end scope. I, uh, I picked this thing up for I think 400 bucks with the scope. Uh, I just have a cheap little bipod on the front from Amazon, it was only like $30. I don't know, it's hard to get an exact, accurate MOA because um, I'm shooting at about 100, 120, probably 130 yards. And uh, it's, as you can probably hear, it's fairly windy out today. But I'm just trying to get it all set up as best I can, even with the weather. Bolt is uh, it's a little loose, but um, slides in real nice. Safety's right here on the tang. Great spot, really like that. Trigger's pretty nice. Wood's in fantastic shape. Just beautiful woods. So here are the results. Not the greatest. That bottom one there is the one I pulled for sure. And then these four are the other shots. Not super impressed, but I'm not so sure it's the gun's fault. I'm using really old reloaded ammunition and it's extremely windy today and I'm about 130 yards and I have not shot in a long time. So I'm not going to put all the blame on the gun. I'm sure I have a lot to do with it. This was from earlier just sighting in a few shots. Um, scope isn't exactly sighted in perfectly as you can see I have to move it down and a little bit to the left obviously but um, yeah it's not too bad well I got a few more rounds um, this is the old rounds I'm using they're just old reloaded hollow, hollow points thought I'd send a few more before the rain comes in holds five rounds I think I said that earlier Let's see if I can get them a little closer. But yeah, beautiful gun, really enjoyed it so far, uh, pretty simple, nothing too fancy, super affordable, similar to the Parker, Hale, Parker Hales, uh, if you see one of these, I would not hesitate to pick them up, they're uh, for the money, fantastic guns, I have not had many issues. Um, the bolt release is simple. You just pull the trigger forward. So this way, well, I guess it's backwards and uh, slides right out. Simple bolt, double lug, and then uh, put it back in. I think you have to pull the trigger forward. Yeah, and then she'll slide back in. It's got a, uh, a nice little red indicator on the top here. So it lets you know, lets you know when the uh, it's loaded so if I pull this down there's a little red indicator at the top uh, top of the bolt right here that lets you know that there's a round well it doesn't let you know that there's a round chamber but it lets you know that it's cocked and ready to fire and um, if I hold the trigger just put it down now that little red indicator is uh, it's down and flush with the bolt, so it lets you know that it is not cocked. So if I pull the trigger, it uh, won't 
fire. Nice little thing, nice little touch. This push and loam optic, I think is a, uh, it's a six, yeah, it's a six times. Really nice, really simple. Feels great. Yeah, beautiful gun. Fairly light. Feels good in the hands. I don't think that there's too many of these produced. There's this, which is a Monarch, and then there's also a Majestic. Those are a little bit rarer, a little bit fancier. They have some scroll work on the bolt. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's, uh, it's a pretty good gun. The, uh, the iron sights on these are actually fairly good. It's got a, a little flip up sight here. And the end sight is very, very nice and open. <laughs> very nice and open. It's a beautiful gun. Here's the other five rounds I sent in. So I think one there, two there, and one down there. But uh, it's a little bit better, but not much better. I'd like to see some better grouping. So yeah, I'm gonna pack it in because it's gonna rain. Uh, but I really appreciate the support. If you got any questions about the BSA Monarch, comment below. Hit that like button again. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys again.